Hello and welcome back to Home for Play. So it's time to finish it up with the last episode. Foray into fire. Going back to super easy. So the reason I'm not loading the game and I should probably save here. What? What? No, dude. Lol. Okay, I guess we are finishing it on the same save. Uh, why not? Sure. I can beat the Goblin King again, that's not a problem. Final boss of the last episode. Uh, yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, save game. Uh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're back. The dinosaur story. So this is the new episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new episode. The final episode, Foray Into Fire. Which apparently has minotaurs. Still bats. Still with the fucking bats. I wanna save her cause... Ah oh, jeez. She has the range. She can get the hard to reach enemies. Oh shit! Ow, dude! No? Okay. Oh, shit! Okay, I can land atop the fucking stones. Good to know. Fuck your Minotaur. Aha! Interesting mechanic. Alright. That's probably gonna come bite us in the ass sooner or later. Just such as it always with gimmicks like the. <laughs> Don't tell me this is one of those impossible jumps. Okay, so she's more nimble. Okay. I'm gonna save here. Oh! So I just didn't crawl down at the right place. And that's that's okay. That's fine.
I honestly don't mind that much. As long as it's not too pixel perfect where you have to climb down, then I'm I'm not really mad at that sort of thing. Once you Yeah, it is kinda of perfect, but it is not as perfect as some other games I've played in the same way, so it's it's not as bad as some other games that's like that. Okay. Okay, this this level has different planes. So I, I I really like this thing with every every world every realm I guess it's called is different, completely different. Like <coughs> it's a very different experience. It's not really rehashed like you've seen a lot of other games. They really went out of their way to uh, to make it different, to make it feel different. Too different, still recognizable enough, it's still the same game, but just different enough. It doesn't get stale. And you know what? I respect that a lot. This is also I've been told. I watched um Lazy Game Reviews did a a, a, a review of this game that if you don't know Lazy Game Reviews, uh, I highly recommend watching the game. If you like watching old dust game stuff and such he is really he is the guru of of dust games and uh, and he says like this is probably the last uh, 2d platformer that Apache did um, and it has a lot of like and you can tell like it has a lot of the uh, of the stuff they must have learned doing other games of the same genre like they did the Commander Keen series and all sorts of other platforms. They did a lot of platformers. So you can tell they probably learned a lot from that. Honestly I have to say this this these graphics um remind me a lot of um of a Syria game, like especially this this uh, male character looks like Adam from King's Quest. Um, he even has sort of the same face. Damn it! <laughs> but yeah, he even has sort of the same face as Adam from King's Quest Six, um, which I haven't played, but I've seen. Uh, Game Grumps play it. The thing about finding those old King's Quest games is that <coughs> the old school DRM meant you pretty much, if you want to play the game properly, you pretty much have to one, play it on the old hardware, which I don't own, and two, you have to have the manual for a lot of them. So, uh, that, that makes it. fairly difficult because finding Lord knows finding any game with the manual intact let alone an old game these days uh, that is that is hard that is difficult uh, that's just a fact like Sega has like the Sega Mega Drive slash sorry America Genesis has uh, had has an easy time with that because the, the the covers for the old Sega Mega Drives and Genesis covers were so convenient to store, so a lot of pe they were more commonly kept as opposed to like Super Nintendo games, which was just cardboard. Um, so they broke more easily and people di didn't really want to keep like a, a cardboard box around um, <coughs> and just kept the manual and maybe the game the game and maybe the manual um, Sega Genesis is definitely better off in that regard from my experience but DOS games like let alone finding DOS games 
because the market for old PC games is a lot smaller. Oh shit! Oh shit! we go you had to hit him with his head that is cool that is cool I like that a lot <laughs> all right oh geez spike from the ceiling got a little dance here while I quick save see both episode 2 and episode 1 no episode 3 had a middle boss that means there's at least two more level, three more levels. If this is any, if this is exactly like episode two, there's at least one more. There's at least three more levels after this. Let's see. Maybe this level isn't as bullshit as. Jeez, oh that kind of shit, eh? thing is there got myself the crystals I need them for my fireballs they're also just neat to pick up it's a good sound effect they look nice I want them all I want them all Fuck your spiders. Oh, which way I'm supposed to be going here? Not very elaborate in flight, but you know. You never know. You never know when suddenly it's gonna turn into a fucking labyrinth. Like, this is definitely not it. As long as it doesn't give me another jump off the rope. Thing at the right time thing like in the second episode I'm a happy camper because oh oh jeez okay that that I probably should have that I probably should have noticed <laughs> or expected um. it's cool to see like remember back when this came out like Platformers were the FPS's of their day. They were the most commonly released genre of game, so... There's a lot of these conventions you're noticing from other games, exactly because you also know them if you check. Like, they were the ones that made money at the time. Let's see. Fuck your spiders. Here we go. I'm gonna quick save here. So neat to see an old game with quick saves. A lot of old games didn't. Oh, oh, but they, that was, that was luck. That was pure luck. Ah. 
Fuck you, stupid spider. Aha! Oh jeez. <laughs> okay. That was my fault. It's, it's always my fault. This is a very, very well-made game and it's actually pretty forgiving, so... This is always my fault. I can't really say, oh, this bullshit. Well, that, okay, that one rope where you can really see how far down you were allowed to go in the last video. I'll say, like, that was kind of bullshit, but aside from that, this game has been very, like, straightforward. It's not really throwing any curveballs at you. It's not trying to be something special. It's just, it, it knows what works and is rolling with it. And this was pointless. You know what? It felt good to do, so fuck you! Okay, at least I know now that I don't have to go over there, so we can just say fuck it, I don't want to go that way. Go the other way. Couldn't get in the doors, could we? No. Let's see, this was the far right. We couldn't really get anything over here. I'm gonna try this rope. Mm, and quick save again. It's time to get nervous, honestly. Okay, fuck that. <laughs> Get up there, I have to do it the weird way. There we go. Okay, the control is definitely more responsive today than it was yesterday. I don't know what was going on with it yesterday, why I had problems jumping off, why I had to switch to my keyboard for that. That was just a weird situation all around. Right now, it seems perfectly responsive. But I think I'm also just more getting used to... Jesus! I'm getting more used to what the game expects of me, so... Uh, that definitely helps. Like, I'm getting more... Like, the rhythm... How can I say? The rhythm of the game? No. The flow of the game, I'm, I'm getting more, like, adapted to it. I think I'm also just more awake today than I was yesterday. Um, had, had a oh, jeez, this bullshit. Had kind of a late day yesterday, so maybe that has something to do with that. Um, Jesus, fuck. No. No! Do a little dance. Hey, Hans. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. Yeah, I want to save here. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. Fuck your, fuck your bats. Fuck your spiders. Do you think it's down there? Yes! <sighs> Definitely could have gotten more goodies out of that level if I bothered. But nah. Okay. Mintar enemies. This, this is the first ranged enemies, aren't they? Late. That's actually fairly late to do some great enemies, I have to say. Like by today's standards at least. But so far the main thing she has had going for her has been her range. Um, not that you're taking that down away from her, but um, you definitely, like, 
Oh, jeez. Okay. Please grab onto the fucking thing. It's a cool mood in the game. Um, I know you guys can't hear the music very well because I've only turned it the fuck down, but um, it's such a kind of sort of, sort of gloomy, cool mood. Like, and there's just something about the old sound effects. Like, I I can't, I like, there's something about the old ad-lib, uh, crunch. The little crunch to the explosions and such. It's very cool. Okay. This is kind of cheap, but let's save here. Also, actually, let's say thank you for watching this episode of Anger Place. Next time we're finishing the video, or the, the <laughs> we're finishing the video now, but next time we're finishing the game, hopefully. Uh, I'm kind of tearing through it, and it is the last episode of the game. So, yeah. I'll jo please join me then. Bye!